Hey, Justin here, and I'm going to take you through the process of buying Product Press, installing it on your WordPress site, and getting it connected to Gumroad. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this here, choose my license, one site. All right, so now I've bought it, and I'm going to download everything here. All right, so I'm going to unzip that, and you'll see I have the plugin right here, the instruction video right here, and the instruction PDF right here. All right, so now I'm going to add it to my WordPress site. I'm going to click Add New in the Plugin section, click Upload Plugin, and I'm going to select the Product Press zip here. Click Install. Perfect. All right, now before I activate the plugin, I'm going to go to Settings, Permalinks, and I'm going to make sure Post Name is selected. I'm going to save that. Now I'm going to go to my Plugins section. And I'm actually going to activate Product Press here. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to go to Settings, Product Press, and I am going to grab this redirect URI right here. Now it's time to head over to your Gumroad account, and we're going to go to Settings, we're going to go to Advanced, scroll to the very bottom, and we are going to create a new application. So we're going to call this Product Press. And this is where we're going to paste that URI that I copied from here. All right, so create application. It's been created. And now we're going to take these IDs and we're just going to paste them in to our Product Press configuration here in WordPress. So there's the first one. And here's the second one. Click Connect to Gumroad. And it's going to ask us if we want to authorize this. We're going to say yes. And now we are connected. And it's already asking me which products I want to activate in WordPress here. These are for t-shirts I was selling, but I want to create a membership. So I'm going to go back to Gumroad, go to Products, I'm going to add a product. It's going to be a digital product. It's a subscription. And I'm going to click this and we're going to say Mega Maker Yearly. And we're going to say it's $78 per year. All right. Uh, if you want, you can add a cover and all that stuff. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to click Publish. All right. So now. I have the subscription set up. And if I go back here and refresh, you can see it shows up right here, Mega Maker Yearly. I'm going to click Active and then click Save Changes. All right, so now I want to restrict access to certain pages of my website only to people who have purchased this Mega Maker Yearly subscription. So I'm going to head over to Pages. And one of the pages I want to restrict is this Members page. I only want members to see that. So I'm going to click Edit. And now if I look in the sidebar here, I can see I have all my Gumroad products listed. So I'm going to say only Mega Maker Yearly customers can access this page. Then I'm going to update that. So now I'm going to view this page. Now, because I'm an admin, I can see it. But let's copy this into an incognito window. And you'll see that they now need to log in. By the way, if you want to change this login logo, there are tons of pl plugins that let you do this. You can just go to your plugin section, search login image. Here's one right here, uh, customize login image. You can install that. And if I go and activate that, this is going to allow me to upload my own logo there. All right, so I just go here, upload my custom logo. I put it on the desktop. There it is. Nice little circle. Insert that into the plugin here. Save changes. And if I head back to this login page, you can see now my logo shows up. All right, so there's another thing you might want to do, which is on the home page, allow people to purchase that membership. So I've got my home page in WordPress here. I'm going to go over to Gumroad. I'm going to click on that product. I'm going to head over to share. Share. There we go. And I'm going to say, become a member. 
and I'm going to copy this script right here, head back over here, switch to the text view, paste in that script, update. And now when I view this page, it has a button that allows people to become a member. So if they click that, they can now become a member. All right, so let's look at this now from the purchaser's point of view. They land on your homepage. There's a button there that says become a member. They click that. They click subscribe. Put in uh, their payment information. It says thank you. Now they would head over to their email account and they would notice that they've got two emails here. The first is a receipt for their annual membership and the second is their username and password. So they would click on this and they can generate a password here and now they can log in. Now they have access to the members section. Another great thing about using Gumroad is that you can keep track of all of your customers right here. So I can see that purchase I just made right now. I can send emails to those customers right here. I can also create workflows so that I could say um, onboarding emails and I could say only people that subscribe to the membership. And now I can create onboarding emails for you know three days after they sign up, a week after they sign up, etc. So you can manage all of the kind of customer interaction through Gumroad, but the actual membership site is here in WordPress. And that's it. That's from start to finish how to install and use Product Press and then what it looks like for any of your members that are subscribing on your website. If you have questions, you can let us know, productpresswp at gmail.com or you can visit productpress.me.